Welcome to the CWJ Custom Projects. Wah, the pet store. Pet based pets. Let's go take a peek inside. Now I'm going to take you down right to the monsters right away. So forget about this floor. We got some skeletons. Got spiders into that sort of thing. Creepers even. Creepers again. This side we have zombie pigmen. And over here we have zombies. Now this is made out of 100% obsidian in case of uh, blow-ups. It was an absolute pain to make. Uh, lots of glass, lots of uh, obsidian as you can see, and lots of time to dig all this out, this whole basement. Uh, so, <laughs> there's not much to show down here. I just want to make it kind of dark and eerie. All the light's coming from the floor and the top bars. It was kind of a, I thought it was a neat style. Uh, it also prevents monsters from spawning down here because it's too dark. That would be a problem. That'd be something I wouldn't want, monsters spawning in my pet store. Now, here's a nice fountain in the, in the middle, or in the, in the front here. Got some dogs on sale. Nice. Over here, we got some pet grooming you can do for $10. Now, as you can see, we employ the local citizens of that village over here. Because, we, you know, we want to give them jobs. Got some checkout lanes so you can pay for your purchases. And over here I have dispensers. This uh, this floor is basically uh, supplies they need for your pets. You know, all of what they eat, they're labeled. I just gotta put any form of vegetation on here that I can find. Over here we ha <coughs> have the service, excuse me, the service counter. Got this gentleman who can answer your questions if you have any. Now, now that we've kind of covered the Let's kind of look for a second. See all of what's around here. Got some nice blue carpet taking you to the areas. Monsters down there. Well, that's where we just at. Now let's go to the farm animals and pets. Now, this level is especially beautiful. I really like it. Um, we did... How'd that sheep get in there? <laughs> that sheep shouldn't be in there. It should be over here, but, um, whatever. There's a cow. Oh my goodness. How, you must be quite the climber. Anyway, we wanted to make it look like these animals were still in their habitats. So it is we tried to add a little bit of something to each habitat if we could. Like, for instance, the obslots, aka cats, over here have a jungle tree. And this grew because uh, we were able to get the sunlight in here and stuff. Now, the roof is really nice. I really love this roof. Uh, Casey actually thought about I was going to do something totally different with this roof. It was going to be glass, but it wasn't going to be uh, steel graded like it is. But I'm glad he thought of that because it actually looks much better than what I would have done, I think. Um, got octopus, squid, as we know them in Minecraft. We built a fish tank for him. We tried putting lights under here so you can see it. The glass actually ends up making it so they're kind of hard to see. But you can see it really well from outside, which is weird. Um, yeah. Here's the sheep. No, there's not much to add here because being sheep just run around in planes anyway. We have pigs. Got a nice little slop bucket over there that can uh, play around. Except you know, pigs, pigs like to run around and slop and stuff like that. And, of course, we have Mooshroom and Cows. Gotta have the Mooshroom. And I built a waterfall in here, so it kind of looks very earthy and stuff like that. Um, go upstairs in this mezzanine. We have dogs. And a cow, apparently. These are dogs. And you can get Bone Street dogs right here. Kind of neat. So, overall, this is what it is. This is the top level. We, put, we took a lot of pride in this level right here. And I think it turned out really beautiful. I, just, I love it. I look it up here. This, the roof the roof, and the natural light that comes through here. Because we want the animals to feel like that they're back in their natural habitat. And there's no fence around them, even though that's quite quite apparent, especially these guys who have a double fence. Well, it's happening. <laughs> Some of the problems that ran into this place. Uh, it's I can see it happening with the squid right here. Um, they're they're despawning. Uh, and I, we thought this would happen because they have 20 squares going this way. And if they can move more than 20 squares, uh, they can despawn. 
Now, we thought that was going to be a problem. We thought we'd chance it. I'd add more before I filmed. And try doing that. This especially was ridiculous with the monsters, who... About, I feel like they were just spawning 10 seconds after I put them there. It's ridiculous. As soon as I leave the base, where they're gone. And we saw even a little bit of that as I'm filming this. There wasn't many creepers uh, or zombies or Pikmin, for that matter. Um, but, yeah. Um, I'd like to thank Casey for helping me out with this project. Uh, him and I busted this out in the last few days, really. Uh, how did you get in here? Yep, have fun. Oh, he's always oh, just getting his pet groomed. All right, all right, I understand. But I'll take you an aerial. You can kind of see the, the whole top level there. That's kind of fun. Uh, street lights. We got the big sign. Take you around the building. The roof. You can see the top level again here. I just really liked how it turned out, and. Uh, I think that's what we we took a we that's why we decided to do this project. I mean, a pet store is tough to do in Minecraft uh, because it's hard to make something a pet a pet store creative. And so, really, the, what we started to do when we started this project was figure out how to make this special, how to make this different to where you could take something like a pet store and make it cool in Minecraft. And I think Casey and I have really done that. Uh, it took a lot of uh, heads like putting heads together and figuring out how to make this cool. And I knew I wanted to do something with, like, the habitats inside. Uh, and I knew I wanted to do something with the monsters, like, in a basement, this dark basement with the monsters probably, you know, that kind of thing. I knew I wanted to do that, but I didn't know how to put it together. And I think it really turned out okay. Uh, the one thing I might change is the look of the building. I might shape the building differently if I did this again. But... Uh, you c okay, this project actually burned down once. Uh, this building is kind of like this. And it started on fire a second time while it was being built. Casey and I were putting up these walls yesterday. And act he, he actually doesn't even know this, because he was away from the control for a second. But, like, over here got struck by lightning, and the roof wasn't on yet. And you know what happens to wood in Minecraft when it's struck by lightning? The whole building goes up. So I lost probably a floor's worth right here <laughs> of, just, of wood. I got it out because I happened to have a bucket of water on me, because I was doing... Uh, we were over here doing the uh, fish tank, <laughs> and so I happened to have a bucket of water. That could have been really bad because it's already it already burned on once. Can you imagine burning on twice? Now we could have just restarted the world, but still, still unfortunate. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We named it after the person that gave us the idea for this build. Thank you, Kitten Pepe, one of our best YouTube listeners, for this uh, best and most active YouTube listeners. Uh, she comments on every video, and we really want to do this for her. The whole team decided we wanted to, and uh, we made it happen. So, custom builds are where we want to thrive. Now, we have some big things in store. I can't announce what we're going to do yet next, but it's going to be cool. And we're going to finish uh, Temple of the Gods. It's another priority next. The problem with that is it involves about four of us, and all four of us have something we want to do. And the problem has been getting all four of us online at the same time. That's been the problem. But now that we have a break from our school, college, and stuff like that, we could probably sit down and finish it in a day if we wanted to. So, hopefully that happens. If you have any more custom projects you want us to do, we love doing custom projects. It's kind of where this channel thrives and where we get our most viewers is custom projects. Uh, so we're always up for listening what you guys want us to do. Because we can make it happen. So, that's the pet store. Thanks, guys. Share this video. A subscription would be really nice. Like it. Favorite it. You know, that kind of stuff. I'm Good Old Jim. Signing off from Pepe's Pet.